if you've had trouble with your headphones, they're not playing well, or they're playing intermittently, maybe you've tried to cure the problem already, maybe you've seen my video that shows you how to replace the headphone jack, and if you've done that and it still doesn't work, well then I have another possible cure. Uh, in my first scene in this video I show you a nano iPod. Now the nano iPod is the kind of device that you really can't use my fix on. The reason is that if you open the nano iPod, or I guess any iPod, I haven't opened other ones, what you'll find is they have a jack receptacle, but the jack receptacle is completely enclosed and you really can't get at the internal mechanism so as to fix it. What you really have to do is have one that has exposed contact points. I'll show you what I mean here. First thing you have to do is open the uh, MP3 player case. You can generally do that with a small screwdriver or a knife edge and what you do of course is get it in between the two uh, plastic housing pieces and snap it open. And When you do, you'll find the jack located down, of course, where the uh, plug is to be placed in the device. Now if the jack receptacle has exposed contact points, you'll find three of them. One at the end and two on the sides. And of course these are the points that make contact with the jack itself. And I'll show you in the next frame where those points are on the jack. This frame shows you where the contact points are on the one that I've exposed anyway. Now here's the jack itself and it shows you the three points on the jack plug where they make contact with the receptacle inside the iPod or not the iPod but the MP3 player that you're trying to repair. The first thing you'll want to do is get a paper clip, bend it straight and put it against one of the clips in, that are housed by the receptacle. And then what you want to do is push in so as to create greater spring tension and now this contact will make a better contact with the jack itself, the jack plug. There will be a second point also for the second contact and you want to push that in also in order to increase its tension. Finally, the contact at the end of the jack receptacle, you can push down on that with a small screwdriver so as again to increase its uh, springiness and allow it to make better contact with the plug when it's placed in the receptacle. After you've tightened all the clips as best you can using the paper clip and the small screwdriver, then you'll want to insert the jack plug back into the receptacle, turn on the device and make sure that it plays correctly. After you decided that it's working okay, then what you want to do is hold the MP3 player down and wiggle the jack back and forth lightly, up and down, back and forth, and make sure that it retains contact. If it doesn't, of course, what you'll hear is the sound on the headset or on the earphones will uh, be fading in and out or, you know, be intermittent. It'll be the problem that you've had before. So uh, give this a try. Of course, then you're going to put the uh, iPod back together. I keep saying iPod. I really mean the MP3 player. You're going to snap the case back together and it should work out just fine. If it doesn't, well, then that probably means that there's some sort of internal problem with the electronics of the device itself, and I guess you're just going to have to get a new one. All right. Thanks for watching. Best of luck.